Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Machines of War. I'm Gamerum, and this is the history of the glorious, the underdog and the workhorse of the Wehrmacht, the Panzer III. Now, the Panzer III was a German medium tank in service from 1938 to 1943. The official name of the Panzer III is the Panzerkampfwagen III. Jesus, that's a... Whew, that's a loud language. Uh, anyways, the Panzer III started development in 1935. It was in, well, it was in factory production from 1938 to 1943. Now, the creation of the Panzer III. The Panzer III entered development in 1935, after Heinz Guderian, that little rascal, made a request for a new tank. The new tank was to be armed with anti-tank weapons and machine guns. In the same time, the development of a tank with a cannon of high caliber. The first tank got the name the Panzer III, and the second tank got the name the Panzer IV. The tank was to be up to 15 tons. The request of a new tank was sent to Mann, Rheinmetall, Borgis, Krupp AG, and Daimler-Benz AG. The vehicle was assigned as Wirtschaftskraftfahrzeug 619, then it was assigned the name Mittlerer Traktor, and finally the name Geschutzpanzerwagen. Yes, they, they like to change names. However, they liked arguing more. Bloody Germans. The development of the Panzer III started with a conflict between the Waffenamt, which is basically the procurement department of Nazi Germany, and the mechanized force inspectorate, around the main weapon of the new tank. The Waffenamt wanted to use a 37mm calibre cannon, but the mechanized force inspectorate wanted to use a 50mm calibre cannon. In the end, the 37mm calibre cannon was used, because the cannon, in doubt, was selected as the main standard of cannon of the Wehrmacht. Because of that, the creation of special ammunition for the 50mm calibre cannon would become too expensive. However, the inspectorate made sure of one thing. The tank structure would allow the placement of both cannons in case they wanted to change it. Now, the tank's armour was extra thick, as you can say these days, on the front, because it was to be used in offensive operations. That made its side armour suffer. The tank's maximum speed was 40 kilometers an hour. The tank had a five-man crew consisting of the commander, the loader, the driver, the radio operator, and the gunner. The Panzer III was the first German tank to use a intercom system, so its crew could communicate without a single problem. After the intercom showed to be effective in tanks, it was placed in every other German tank. The testing of the first prototypes was done during the years of 1936 and 1937. The winner was Daimler-Benz. The Daimler-Benz started factory production in 1937. However, Krupp was allowed to build a tank with a bigger cannon, which was given the name Panzerkampfwagen IV. The Panzer III had 12 different versions of it built. The Panzer III in the field. The Panzer III saw its first days of warfare during the Polish Blitzkrieg. Well, to be more correct, its prototypes saw action. I mean, the Germans so, are so poor at building tanks that they used a... a a prototype. It was believed that the Panzer III was to be used as an anti-infantry tank. But it was not used as such. Rather, the tank was used as a tank destroyer. Now, the first ever major use of the Panzer III happened on the Western Front against France. Those white flag idiots, baguette, snorting bastards. Sorry. <clears throat> I, I swear we're not biased against the French. The tank was stronger after the switch, but it still had problems, because now it was facing against the T-34. It was too weak to fight the T-34, because the bloody Russians did something to it. I mean, we can't fucking pan them. Whatever. The failure of the Panzer III resulted in the creation of a better and stronger tank that was named the Tiger. The Germans have a weird thing with naming things after cats. The Tiger started production in 1943 which resulted in the stop production of the Panzer III. The Panzer III was used on the French, the Balkan, the North African, and the Soviet front. It is estimated that there were around six 
thousand Panzer III tanks produced. Thank you for watching this episode of Machines of War. I've been Game Rover, and I bid you adieu. Welcome to the end of the video, where I, Game Rover, thank our Patreon subscribers and inform you of some things. This video was made possible by our Patreon subscribers, British History and Sparrow Ace. Thanks for donating, soldiers. If you want to have your name mentioned in the end of the video, in the end of a video, then you can donate to our Patreon, which you will find in the description down below. And also, we have a Discord server which you can join and have fun in. I guess. Hmm. Oh, oh, and talk to us, the staff. The link is in the description down below. And last but not least, we have a Twitter. Y you should go follow. It as we tweet fun facts about stuff L like machines of war and and hold pulse. <laughs>